Hello and welcome to Cardio Live. I'm James Bagger. I'm the founder of Cardio Magazine. And today we're chatting to the host of our used car wars. It's Mr. Wheeler Dealer himself, Mike Brewer. Mike, nice to see you. How are you? I'm all right, James. Yes. I um, hope you're well. Very excited about this year's awards. Not long to wait now, is it? It's um, Monday, November the 27th at the brewery, like like usual. Um, let's just have a little chat about it and what people can can expect. I mean, why, firstly, is Used Car Awards so special? Uh, it's the highlight of the year for me. It really is. And it really is special because, you know, there's many, many an award ceremony that goes on throughout the course of a year, whether it's TV, film awards, whether it's the you know, the best person that sells paper bag awards. Um, but the used car awards is really important because it is that badge of honour that really is important to a used car dealer. Uh, used car dealers get hard time. They get a lot of stick. Even today in the press, you know, they're always being pounded and it's unfair. Uh, so to have a badge of honour that sits on their website or sits on their office wall uh, that says that you are doing the best you possibly can do, really does change somebody's business. And it really does highlight that they are uh, exceptional at what they do. And let's face it, you know, I feel that particularly after we come out of COVID and where we are today, I feel that being a used car dealer um, is is a service. It's a, We are providing a really good quality service, especially with the shortage of new cars People had to default more uh, to the used car network. And the used car network has really shone throughout this period of time. And uh, these people that get themselves nominated, they need to be awarded for that. They need to be recognised uh, as what they're doing in the industry is really important. Yeah, it certainly is. And it's an amazing night, isn't it? It has, has such a fantastic atmosphere. Um, and people, all they need to do, dealers just need to go onto our website, put their details into the nomination form, and they've got to get their hat in the ring, basically. But think back to last year, Mike, it means so much, doesn't it, to these people who actually win? It's just brilliant, James, you know, to host this award. What is it, our 10th year or 11th year? It's even more than that, yes. Is it 12 years or something? To host these awards every single year, uh, you know, and you're standing, I'm standing on stage and I've got this huge room full of people all excited, all waiting to hear, you know, the big announcement whether they're going to be called. And uh, you could be calling a, you know, a Ford Fiesta dealer from Scotland and you could be saying you've won. And this mental crowd at the back of the room will jump and cheer and shout in the air. And you can see the importance it means to them because they're up against you know, JCT 600 and Marshall's group, they're in the same category as these big dealer networks. And if these small ones, these little minnows win it, it, you can see the importance it means to them. But equally, you can now see the big dealer groups. Uh, although when we uh, announced them we're a big dealer group, you know, they're now sending their CEOs, their chairman along to the awards. They're not sending, you know, John, the salesman who works every other Saturday. They're sending a really important member of staff uh, to come and collect that award proudly, you know, standing on stage and uh, receiving it and you can see the evidence of that across their social media and in their business directly after you know how proud they are to win a used car award it is so important to them yeah and they should be proud uh, because we, we take the judging very very seriously don't we i mean we mystery shop all of those people that get through to the nominations list uh, and to get just to get onto the short list is is hard enough even, even you help with that mystery shopping don't you yeah, I do. And it's not to be taken lightly. You know, uh, it, it, when you're when you're judging a business, you need to judge that business from the ground up. And that's the way they react on the phone, how quickly they react on the phone, whether they come back to you uh, with an inquiry that you could have left, uh, whether you wander into that business in disguise and uh, kick the tires and see how the staff approach you. You know, I've had too many experiences, James, in my time where I have mystery shopped and I walked into a dealer and the staff are sitting there on a computer looking up their Facebook profile or playing solitaire. And that's not what people want. People want to be interactive with the customer. They want information and they want to know that they're getting the best deal. And it's those people that get nominated and it's those people that get mystery shopped and judged by us. And they froth to the top and they come away with that very important award. 
Yeah, absolutely, Mike. Well, thank you very much for joining us today to talk a little bit about the event on November the 27th. If people want to get their nominations in, they can do so on our website. Uh, not only that, can we say, James, it is quite possibly one of the best nights that are have. Anyway, whether they win or not, it's still a cracking night out, isn't it? It's still a good party, that's for sure. <laughs> so, it certainly is. So if they, yeah, so if they want to join us, it's uh, cardealermagazine.co.uk nomination form. They can find it at the top of the page. And Mike and I will look forward to seeing you on that night. Mike, thank, oh, you, very, thank you very much for joining us, Mike. It's a pleasure, James. Thanks, buddy. And I can't wait to see you all on the night. It's going to be an amazing evening.